then we have dog trainer Kelly McFarlane here now to give us some tips on how to choose a good kennel or cattery if you haven't already and also how to get our pets ready for the change in familiarity and routine. Hi Kelly. Hi, how are you? I'm very well. We're both sitting with incredibly good <laughs> posture because we've both got sore backs and you stole the cushion. <laughs> so we'll just sit like this for the rest of the show. Um, let's talk about this though. Um, what are we looking for when it comes to checking out a kennel or a cattery because Christmas is coming up. We need to book our pets in somewhere. Uh, the critical thing really is do the animals look nice and happy um, and also cleanliness are the team happy is anything too much trouble for you guys so for me it's more of yeah how is, how is the place run and can you turn up anytime you like to have a good look round? Is it important to actually go along and have a look before you book your animal in? Yeah I definitely recommend that some people don't but to me if you you know it's just like your children you, you want to know where they're going and a lot of people want to know where their dogs and cats are going. Should you take your pet with you before you check in or when you go to have a look around? A lot of places do offer now um, kind of a temporary you know you can drop them off for 24 hours to see how the animal is how they settle in uh, there any potential issues that might start to happen so yeah highly recommend it if they offer that as a service definitely okay so what if I'm taking my dog or my cat to the kennels category for the first time what do I need to be doing in the weeks or months leading up to that main thing really is vaccinations a lot of people if their uh, vaccinations have actually starting to expire get them done make sure they're well and truly up to date make sure your animals flea and wormed and that's pretty much it really yeah and what about getting my animal used to the environment is there anything I need to do especially like I don't know, make a sleep in a cage or do anything different no no like so they'll, they'll start to get used to it once they're actually in the environment itself and is it is it should I be leaving them while I'm still at home so in case they really have a nightmare I can go and get them like before I go away is that or is that just being a little bit too precious no like I say some people take them for a trial and if there's any issues usually the kennels or cattery will, will call you um, definitely to you know to let you know if there's any potential problems that might start to arise and what counts yeah. as an issue do you think anything from the animals suffering with separation issues and not being able to cope on their own um, those who are you know as I say were very um, I guess very close to their owners so you know there's a lot of animals who like to sleep in their owners beds and have all that kind of contact so you know are they going to struggle once they're away and also is the animal uh, got any conditions medical conditions that could potentially cause a problem as well and what sort of contact should I expect from the organization while I'm away uh, lots of them nowadays are, are usually putting up things like photos on Facebook videos some will text you to let you know how they're doing some will send you an email and um, some may not contact you at all if the animal's absolutely fine then they might have a policy that they won't ring you unless there is an issue. It's yeah. funny because some people think that this sounds absolutely ridiculous that they'll put photos up on Facebook but for pet owners, a lot of pet owners, this is a really nice thing that these organisations do isn't it? Yeah definitely and it makes people have that peace of mind that everything's fine so yeah. Yeah and we all like to look at our cute little pooches when they're on, well, we're on holiday and they're on holiday too practically. Hey Kelly thank you so much. Thank That's you. some really good things to think about. Thank you for joining us and we have a $50 pet of the week voucher available Congratulations to Patchy from Auckland. You are our winner. Oh, Patchy is gorgeous. A pet of the week. Pet of the week is proudly brought to you by the Pet.Kiwi, a one-of-a-kind pet store that provides free vaccines to shelter animals.